Voltron Defender of the Universe was released 35 years ago in September of 1984. The show was originally called Beast King Go Lion in Japan. The Matchbox Voltron was also from Japan, but modded for American children. I had this Voltron and I loved it. As I said in other videos, my parents gave away most of my toys, so my Voltron is long gone. In 2016, Voltron Legendary Defender was released on Netflix, and along with this series, Playmates released a Legendary Defender Voltron and Voltron 84 Classic. Let's look at the classic Voltron. This Voltron had to be obtained in parts. Each lion was sold separately on a card back, except for the black lion. He came in a box. The small and medium lions come with a blaster type weapon, a blade to hold in their mouth, and a projectile weapon. The blaster and projectile weapons can attach to the peg holes on the shoulders and on the back legs. The blades have squared pegs that can peg into the roof of the smaller lion's mouths. The projectiles can really fly when they're shot. The red lion also comes with Voltron's blazing sword, and the green lion comes with the spinning laser blades. The black lion doesn't come with anything, but my guess is because he houses the electronics. The medium lions have missiles sculpted in their mouths. The lions look pretty cool, but if I could nitpick, the yellow lion was my favorite, and part of that was because on the Matchbox version, his ears opened up, and he had guns inside. That doesn't seem to be the case here. The only extra part that moves is the plasma cannon. The small lion's articulation includes heads, mouths, the front legs, the back legs. The center of the body can move side to side and turn all the way around. The tails are made from a soft plastic and they could be stored in the body, although it doesn't always hold. The medium lion's articulation are that the heads can move up and down and side to side. The neck can also move up. The mouth can open and close with a spring, of course. The front legs can move back and the lower parts can move forward. The feet can move up and down. The back legs can fold forward and the lower legs can move back. The feet can also move up and down. As I mentioned earlier, the Yellow Lion's Plasma Cannon can also move. The tails on these two can move up and down. The Black Lion's head can turn all the way around and move up and down. His mouth can open, but when he does, he exposes Voltron's face. His shoulders can move forwards and backwards. His lower front legs can also move forwards and backwards, and his feet can move up and down. The rear legs are on joints that can ratchet. They can move out and back. There's a swivel at the thigh. The knee can bend back and forth, and below that there's another joint that can move back and forth. The feet can also move up and down, and the tail can move up and down. As I said earlier, the black lion holds the electronics. This includes a chest light and sound effects. Activate laser blades! The sound effects are triggered when a button on the side is pressed, or when the lion is attached to the black lion to form Voltron. So, form Voltron!
becomes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. Five fearless lion robots. Black lion. Green lion. Yellow lion. Red lion. Blue lion. Who together form Voltron. Lion sets each sold separately from Matchbox. This Voltron stands at 16 inches. He has a lot of articulation going for him. His head can move from side to side. His arms can come up and go all the way around. He has a bend at the elbow and he has swivels at the wrist. His legs can come out and he has a swivel at the thigh. He can bend his knees, point his toes and rock his feet from side to side. Voltron can ratchet, but sometimes the ratchet won't hold him in place. The placement of the electronic button is pretty bad. I'm constantly pressing it on accident when I try to pose him. The blazing sword seems a bit small for him. But the biggest disappointment on this guy is that when the arms are moved up or down, part of the chest moves along with it, messing up the flow of the pattern on his chest. The red parts that move are also buttons to take him apart. Even with this aesthetic flaw, Voltron still looks great, and I'm surprised at the amount of posability that he has. It's definitely better than that Mega Man figure. This is a good Voltron, but of course I would love an 80s Matchbox or Popey, even a Soul of Chagokin Voltron. But for now, this Playmates Voltron will do. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Playmates Classic Voltron 84 and stay tuned for more reviews.